Hello, so I just watched the review that I just did and I totally forgot to mention the Evil Terminator, um, played by Gabriel Luna. Um, he was really great. Um, I referred to um, Grace, the super soldier, as a Terminator and she wasn't, but I thought they were going to have a female Terminator coming back to fight the male Terminator, you know, and um, I didn't realise she was just um, an augmented soldier. So I was a bit thrown by that and um, Gabriel was really great though and the funny thing was he looked like a guy I used to um, know and I messaged him I'm like I'm watching Dark Fate you look like the evil Terminator the new one and he's like okay I'm like are you watching he's like no I'm watching Big Little Lies season two because you know he's gay so that was just funny I just kept staring at him because he just looked just like him in, from certain angles and he was really scary he really did a good job of just being relentless and intimidating without really, you know, being moustache mustache twi twirling or anything, you know, it wasn't over the top, but it was just a really good performance, and I can't believe I didn't mention it at all, because I mentioned everyone else, and they all did good jobs at the acting, um, some of the script and character choices I didn't agree with, but the acting was good, so I just had to mention that, um, the only, nothing wrong with him or his character, the only thing wrong with the film was the director, Tim Miller, and the, um, the writer, Tim Miller, and the director, David Goya, because the way they handled the press, that's what killed the film. Hello, Steve White, Steve White's 89. Well, I watched Terminator Dark Fate. Um, it was on TV in Australia um, recently. I hadn't seen it before. I didn't see it in the cinema. Um, and I sort of wanted to do a little retrospective review of it because I thought it was interesting on a couple levels. Um, the first issue really is the marketing. Now, it's basically like um, what I hear at Harley Quinn and what I know um, Captain Marvel and a few other films alike. They were not bad films, but the marketing was the issue. The marketing was triggering and um, divisive, and it was designed to cause controversy and, and clicks, but not actually re represent the film and promote the film as it actually is. So I didn't see the film because I was told not to, because I'm a man. And basically it wasn't made for men, it was made for women. Um, and, you know, so I thought, well, fine, if you don't want me, if you don't want me to see film, if you don't want your old audience, you want a new audience of mostly women, fine, you can watch the film. So I didn't see it. So it was the first one I didn't see in the cinema um, ever. Um, and, yeah, I, had, I hadn't heard anything good about it. Um, I had heard that it basically wasn't a good film. But I thought, yeah, but those people will say that either way because they're, you know, the usual crowd of misogynistic haters and they're just going to hate it no matter what. But um, the main reason I didn't see it really was because I had already seen the scene where um, John Connor is killed and I just didn't want to see it after that. I'm like, I, I was attached to those characters. I loved the early films and the idea of just killing him, just, just, just discarding all of the other films and just doing a new film, I'm like, well... What what reason do I want to see this? Yes, you do have Linda Hamilton and Arnold Schwarzenegger reprising their roles, but I just I just didn't want to. Um, that was the main reason why I didn't want to. And and I did sort of think, well, that's fitting because the advertising told me I wasn't welcome anyway. So you know we'll see how that goes. And it did make no money. Uh, people didn't go because they played that game and they lost. They they thought they'd trigger people. They thought they'd be controversial. They thought they'd be um, antagonistic, and somehow that would give it, a, draw a lot of attention, but it was all negative attention. So yeah, basically the marketing was to blame for that film bombing, and it's really sad because the film itself isn't bad. Um, there were two elements I didn't like. I mean, there were issues I had with the story. The idea of, you know, fate. Like, okay, it's all about, you know, like no fate, but yet the war always happens, so it seems like it is just at the fate of humanity because they went and killed John, and all they did was create another person to save humanity from the same fight. So it's like the, 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 the series itself does seem pointless because there is, it's like it's saying, there's a fate, but we have to fight it. And I'm like, well, why? Why do I have to go see the same fight, the same film over and over again? And nothing actually changes, really. So, um, yeah. They, yeah. I wasn't really bothered by the, the feminist take on the film where it was all about, because the original was pretty much like that. It was like, like, the men die, the old world passes away, and the women carry on to save humanity, basically. That was what James um, Cameron's 
message was in the first films anyway in Titanic and a lot of his films it's always always that and it doesn't bother me because you know I'm not misogynistic I'm not I don't have a problem with women um, unlike a lot of the man babies and um, um, fandom menace people who just went mental over it because they trashed every element of the film and there are only a few elements of the film that didn't work now um, killing John was horrible we didn't need to just the way I, I didn't need to see it they could have just set the film again where the Terminator comes back and they're after a person we didn't have to kill John. Yes, people, some people would be asking maybe like where was he, why, blah, 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 but they could have just addressed that very simply and just had a different story without actually doing that. So I just thought it was unnecessary. I mean, it was done brilliantly. It looked just like it was filmed in 991. It was amazing on that level. But um, it was just horrific. I didn't want to see it. Um, and um, the only thing that didn't really work for the film, really, there was the the main female Terminator character isn't actually a Terminator. She's an augmented human. And that made her very um, weak and not very heroic. Um, and she was addicted to drugs that she needed to keep herself alive. Um, and she was collapsing every few minutes because of that. And then she was supercharged. And it would have been better if they just sent back a Terminator, a female Terminator, but with, like, the ability to, like, have a human personality, basically. That would have been more interesting, I think, than what they did. And the treatment of Arnie, yeah, they made a bit of a joke out of him at the start, but it was fine. They always made a joke out of his being a robot, you know, that he was always mimicking humanity and so forth. That that was fine. And as soon as they got into fighting, he was as big a hero as he was in any of the other films. They didn't demasculate him. They didn't make him a, a joke in that, in that way. So I don't know what those other people were going on about. And like I said, that's not why I didn't see the film. So... I didn't even think about that, honestly. But um, the only thing that really didn't work for me was the first fight, the CGI was awful and it, I couldn't buy into it. The second sort of action scene was more of a car chase and the bigger scenes like that were much better done. And then once they got towards the hand-to-hand -hand sort of fights at the end, they managed to pull them off differently. There's something went, something didn't work in the first fight, the CGI and that, and they obviously reevaluated that. And by the time they got to the light, later scenes, it worked. So film itself, the action was good, the characters were good, Linda Hamilton was brilliant, Arnie was good, um, like I said, the, the new Terminator I found her really difficult to um, like, she wasn't that likeable and she wasn't like, yes, yeah, so too many flaws, like you got to have flawed characters but she was just a just rolling flaw, um, the, the heroine, the, the new, you know, saviour of humanity, she was fine, um, yeah, I didn't have any complaints with her, the actress was good. Um, yeah, <laughs> basically the film itself was good. Um, I didn't have any real issue with it other than the basic premise that once you accept that, it, you know, they've, John's gone and that's another story, you know, it's fine. It's just the idea of doing that as a film I didn't particularly like and I wasn't particularly interested in seeing it. At first I was like, oh my God, Linda Hamilton's coming back, Arnie's coming back, it's going to be great. And I heard, you know, um... Edward Furlong was coming back as well, and I thought, oh my god, this is going to be great. And then I'm like, oh, he just comes back to be killed? What? Then I was like, yeah, no, I think I can just sit that one out. And then I'm told, you're not welcome. I'm like, well, okay, then. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. I just really wanted to do a little retro review of this because I do think the film as an action film has been slandered and dragged, and it didn't deserve it. Um, the marketing was the issue, and this is something that is just... We should know this and we should really start to see films in spite of the marketing now instead of being um, alienated, allowing ourselves to be alienated by the marketing because we know that's what they're trying to do. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go. Thanks. Bye.